Got a little Swedish there. there. Yeah. And how you going? Steve O here with another video. Today I want to uh, talk a little bit about the science of Minecraft, um, mostly focusing on gravity. And um, and so I was wondering, because I was playing a little bit with TNT, as you can probably tell from the uh, <laughs> the large uh, obsidian fortress I've built myself. Well, not really a fortress, but a um, a playground. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about. Um, gravity. Now, this is not just gravity for TNT, because that's what I was thinking of originally, but gravity for players, like the speed of gravity sort of thing, and also for items when you throw them. So, like, if I was to throw my <laughs> furnace, um, how long it would take to fall, things like that. So, first thing I measured was the player falling speed. Now, this is my... Um, I use this for a lot of my testing. This is my, my tower of sorts. And... Um, from this, I, I tested my TNT mostly, but I also jumped off at various points. I jumped off from up here, which is the 90 meter mark. And there's 90 meter mark here, uh, which is 90 blocks. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, one block is about the equivalent to one meter in Minecraft. Uh, or uh, was it 1.09 yards, I think it is. Something like that. I wrote it down on there. I've, I've forgotten now, though. But, um... Essentially, if a player was to jump off of here, um, he would fall with an acceleration of 13 blocks per second. That's um, based on a lot of a, a number of calculations that I made. So players fall at 13 blocks per second. So, for example, if I was not for example, but if I was to jump off here, decide life wasn't lit worth living anymore, and die at 24 blocks, because 24 blocks is obviously the maximum for a player to jump off. But if I was uh, well, anything above 24, you can you jump off and die, sort of thing. So, sorry, um, 24 will kill you. But if I was to jump off at 24 blocks when I hit the ground and died. Um, I would have hit the ground at an acceleration of 22.48 blocks per second with a velocity of 21.8 blocks per second. So I'm using blocks per second as my main measurement because it's fairly universal. We all know what blocks are and basically when you fall down a block it, it kind of makes a lot more sense for, in the sense of Minecraft. So that's um, one aspect. So that's the player. Um, I'll leave a full write-up in the description that you can check out. Um, I've posted it on wonderhowto.com, um, a full write-up on um, my findings and such, so you can check the uh, the information yourself if you'd like. Anyway, next, let's move to TNT. Now, as we know, TNT has f um, four seconds, uh, four second fuse before it blows up. So that's 40 ticks, and so I've got here it rigged up. This will light up exactly as it blows up, as you can see. So, but the falling distance for TNT. Um, on the, with those four seconds was something that I wondered about. So I placed TNT at the very top, and you can probably guess from the red where the explosion was, but I'll show you again anyway, because it's cool. Uh, and TNT's fun to blow up. So that red mark right in the very middle is where TN the TNT went to um, before it completely exploded. As you can see, it engulfed the red completely. Um, the red was right on the money. And so, this is just my gauge to see where the explosion for um, TNT was at, which was 73 blocks, like I think I said a minute ago. Now, the um, acceleration of TNT falling is um, 4.56 blocks per second. So, it falls down at a rate of 4.56 blocks per second. And um, so when it reached its final velocity here, when it exploded, um, it was moving at 18.25 blocks per second. Um, <laughs> so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, probably a useless piece of information, but it's pretty, pretty cool nonetheless. And um, so here's a, a basic TNT cannon. Now we can use the falling distance, obviously, whatever. Knowing physics can help us. Obviously, the um, one aspect of physics is its fuse time is four seconds. So we can use it not only for falling, but for um, maximizing our, our TNT fuse. So what I've done here is I've added the fuse to 39. I could have done 39 and a half probably with a piston, but it's, at the moment it's only 39 tick go away, um, fuse, at which point it will explode and fire and hit the wall. <laughs> 
good old TNT cannons. I love them. So that was uh, TNT. So I tested TNT quite a bit because it's fun. <laughs> and I launched a lot. And then I was wondering about items and uh, the amount of the items dropped. And so I did my first test was to see which dropped faster. Um, items in this chest, I've got four wool. And I noticed, I think I turned block, uh, drops off. That, but I, I did notice that dro uh, items dropped a lot faster. And so then I was curious how fast items did drop. So in order to do that, I put a block in front of here so that the item would go straight down. And likewise with these ones. And found out that items, um, based on a number of headache-like calculations, um, turned out to be, uh, where is it, 8.5 blocks per second acceleration. So, um, yeah, I didn't w bother with the, I'll, I'll put the velocities and stuff, I'll put all my findings in the document, um, and you can check that out if you're curious about the velocity and such like that. But yeah. Um, 8.5 blocks per second. So to recap, players fall at 13 blocks per second. TNT falls at um, 4.56 blocks per second. And items fall at 8.5 blocks per second. So, yeah. Just to show you, because it didn't quite work here, let's um, do this part again. That And it gives me a chance to play with TNT. Let's just launch them out of straight out of here. Fire. Interesting. <laughs> I have not inverted. I'm an idiot. Alright, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope this has been um, insightful. <laughs> it was just something that I kind of was curious about, and so I, I played around with. But um, I hope you can use it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. See ya. Got a little Swedish there. Yeah.